Welcome to part 48 of Grand Theft Auto 4. Whatever we do in this next mission will determine the flow of the last two missions of the game, not to mention will determine when sorry, you get the reward of 250 grand. This is it, folks. This will start the downward spiral of events, and I might as well just give you a spoiler right now, no matter what path you choose, someone close to you will die. And also, a certain someone who's been pestering us for all this time will uh, okay. die too. Well, time to make the choice in one last thing. Vodka on the rocks. Nico, uh, good to see you. And you, how are you? Uh uh, fucking terrible. We got legal problems, all kinds of crap. You know how things have gone. I've heard some things. <sighs> you get close to your dream, then something holds you back. No. Well, commission or no commission, I ain't gonna starve. People don't want me around, they don't have to have me. But I know how to earn. I need a favor. Here we go. Fuck you. I looked out for you. And I'll pay good, real good. But I need you to do something. I need you to collect that H. I got some Russians who have a buyer. Russians? Yeah. Dmitry Raskolov. No, we've got the history. I know. But this is real. I need you. Real? What the fuck is real? Real because it's you? Real because it's my last chance. Then good luck. No. I need you to get that H. I need the money. I looked out for you. You know, people wanted to whack you. I said no. Now I need you. And I'll pay a lot of money. Listen, Mr. Pegorino. I already told you. I got no, history. No, you listen, you dumb immigrant fuck. I ain't asking you. I'm telling you, do this. Get over your principles. These guys don't hold grudges. Do it or you and me are going to have a problem. Look, Phil will look after you. You won't even have to deal with the fucking Russians. He's waiting for you, down in Tudor. All right. I knew I could count on you. Hey, how about that drink? Although that cutscene we just went through was considered a mission, it's not technically a mission until after we complete uh, the choice, the morality choice, ladies and gentlemen, which is very infamous among players who have played this game. There are many people who have picked Deal. Fuck that shit. I'm telling you now, Deal is Roman, not worth it. You got the the I'm mission behind you. Deal... Oh, by the way, Roman will try to convince you to take the deal. The mission behind that deal is bullshit. It is a combination of Catch the Wave and to Live or Die in Alderney. Both missions included heavy firefights and also will include the cops. Not to mention, it's also a combination of truck hustle where Nico will have to steal the truck of heroin that they procured from the triads from the Russians because they were planning on ambushing both Phil and Nico and taking the damn heroin for themselves. Oh no, what we're going to do is the revenge mission. And Kate will actually trigger that one. So, in, as I was saying earlier, what I do will affect how the wedding will play out, and I don't know which person who is closest to me will die, and more ass. importantly, how quickly Dimitri will die. Could be very However, if Deal ends up being picked, which I'm not going to do, because why would I side with someone who has betrayed me more than once and has screwed with me throughout the entirety of this game? But anyway, if Deal has been picked, then, uh, you would have to, 
only kill just Dimitri. Because a certain someone else ends up dying at the hands of Dimitri as well. No, we're, we're going the revenge route. After all, Dimitri has lived long enough. He has made an ass of us long enough. He shot... Well, actually, he caused Roman to get shot in the stomach. He kidnapped Roman. He tried to get me killed by Bulger in countless times, and not to mention blackmailed Bernie. No, he deserves a fate worse than death. And I'm gonna give it to him in a dish served cold. Запакуйте весь хэроин. Мы сегодня ночью посылаем. Now that we have the layout of the boat, that's pretty much the gist of the mission. Get in, open the hatch, and kill Dimitri. Now then, about that cut, the recording stopped a little bit. That's why I went there and uh, cut out the stoppage, because it paused, and it didn't move or do anything, so I cut that out. Now things are working, I'm going to keep the recording going like this. Or I kept the recording going like this. Anyway, as soon as we come near that boat, there will be guys shooting at us. To reduce the amount of guys trying to kill us, let's blow these guys away. Ah, oh, that was glorious. And of course, here they come. Oh, already somebody actually shot me in the head. Ugh. Right over there, too. As a matter of fact, I'm surprised that guy got up and shot me. Oh, no, no, that was somebody else. Somebody else. Oh, shit, there was actually four people in that van. Damn, I just killed a lot of people there. Uh, let me hide behind something. Oh, they're really tearing up that body armor of mine. Now then, here's the deal with this. This would be also labeled a hard mission, but it's not as hard as the deal. See over there? There are rocket launchers and uh, carbine rifle ammo. By all means, use it. Pick it up, use it if you feel the need to do so. Also, bring grenades. These will keep those annoying Russians who constantly hide behind cover from picking you off from cover. Because there are some times where the cover system just can't get these guys like right now. And even if you free shot, oh, that's sniper rifle. I thought it was rocket launcher, but it still works nonetheless. And even if you free shot, it is going to be tough to actually deal with these guys because they're hiding behind cover again. I mean, duh, that, that's how cover works. Oh, oh, wrong way, you idiot. Wrong way. Don't turn your back to the enemy. All right, here comes some more. Just in case, oh, oh, that guy is shooting at me too. You just gotta cover your bases, folks, and be careful because sometimes when they do come out of the woodwork, they will try to come behind cover. This ship is filled to the brim with Russian guards. And to be fair, most of them are armed with submachine guns. The rest are armed with carbine rifles. You want to try to make this easier on you. Your trip to the hatch has to be easy. So, if you 
throw enough explosives and don't kill yourself in the process, you'll be able to clear away and get to as many guards as humanly possible. That one guy is set on fire, and that's awesome. And he's caught in the boat, too. Ah, uh, there's, there's another one. And again, the cover this time around was actually moving to the point where I could not actually get to it. Okay, let's hide behind this uh, area here. And by the way, this ship is actually nostalgic, which is another reason why I decided to do the revenge. The revenge is taking place on the very boat that brought Nico here in part one, which is the platypus. Hey, watch this right here. No scope. I'm gonna no scope this guy. I'm gonna no scope this guy. Or oh, second thought, I'm not gonna no scope this guy. Ah, uh, I set you guys up for nothing. Oh, there was a guy there. Okay, go figure. But yes, this was the very ship that brought Nico here to America, and the very ship that uh had those diamonds. Yeah, sorry, I had to get my thoughts together. But yes, this was the very ship that had raised diamonds, which caused the uh, events of the Ballad of Gay Tony to happen. You're in my sights now. Needless to say, it is platonic that you get to kill the very person who screwed you over on the very ship that brought you here. Ha! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, I almost no scope that guy. He's still alive, probably. Not for long! You're not getting away from me! Ha! He's dead! Wait, did he just jumped overboard? Are you freaking serious? He just jumped overboard! You all saw that, right? Uh, not really. Not many people actually watch this video, really. What is it? I don't know what it is. It must be just me. It it must be me. But yes, that guy just went overboard, and he's still somehow standing. I don't know how, but that explosion was literally right in front of him, and he jumped overboard. There is no words that can explain that. Hold on, let me climb up. I think I can climb up. Yeah, I should climb up. This should kill it. Oh wait, there's another guy over there? Come on! Let me kill the schmuck here! There we go. Oh, and this level is more generous than the deal. The deal has literally no body armor or health to give you. However, the revenge actually has two body armors. Or two places you can get body armors. And also a place where you Two places you could actually get, not not a place, two places where you could actually get um, med kits, because med kits and body armors are your friend in this mission. You're taking heavy gunfire, and not to mention, I thought they just had like carbine rifles and assault, oh, no, and not assault rifles. I meant uh, submachine guns. I had to think about it for a second. Let's move out the way. That was awesome. Anyway, it's bad enough those guys have carbine rifles and a, and uh, some machine guns, but they also have shotguns too. So it's best you be careful. They almost all but gotten rid of my body armor. Oh, and this place is even more generous. If you you if you use the med kits. You can actually get some soft drink to fill up your health if you've lost just about all of your body armor. Oh, he's still alive? Not anymore. And to make things even more interesting, all the guys that you drop, uh, that drop guns will refill the guns that you have, even if it's of a different type. So, let's start smoking some people out. Ha! 
Brilliant! Anyone else? I'm pretty sure there's... Oh, there he is. And problem solved. Again, grenades are your friend. And look! There is carbine rifle ammo here. And in this room, I don't think there's much in here. And I think there's a body armor somewhere. Wait, no, that's, uh... Some machine gun ammo. There's the body armor right here. This is the first place that has body armor for you. Make sure you use it. Oh, and the kitchen area has a med kit. Not to mention Sprunk. For you to get healthy, as I just mentioned. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. But... There are ways for you to heal in this particular mission. And besides, we get to kill Dimitri. There is nothing more satisfying than finally putting a bullet in that man's brain. Oh, well, it won't be technically his brains, but still, it'll work out just fine. Oh, there's a guy behind the box. Cover may not work for you, because they are arranged in places where your cover... You can't compensate. And you will have to smoke him out one way or the other. Let's see if this guy jumps off the damn cliff. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Let's see if that guy's still alive. Oh, he actually did jump off! What the hell? I'll be damned, that guy actually did jump off, and I also lost some of my body armor. What a bummer. And I killed one guy before killing another guy. Huh. It's one of those days. But it's okay. Cause guess what? We're going Modern Warfare 2 on their asses. That's right. No Russians. Except this time, Makarov won't shoot me in the head. All right, there's some up here. We're gonna have to deal with them. And make your position very good, cause they are gonna come out the corner. And there it is, right there. He's dead. And there's another one up there, and that should be right next to the controls. Oh, and brace yourself, there is a goon that is in the control panel. Well, in the control room, sorry. So, be prepared to shoot who was ever in the control room. Or throw a grenade, because those things seem to work very good wonders. Ha! That was awesome. Oh, but he ran out. He went around the side. Christ. So, all we need to do is walk up and press the control button. Which you need the L... I mean the left bumper to do so. Now then, once you push these... Once you push the lever to open the cargo bay, there will be more goons. So who... Or there will be goons left over that you didn't kill. Make sure you kill these guys before you go to Dimitri. Because they will follow you down the hull and s ambush you from behind. By the way, there is a body armor in the control room. I am pretty sure there's a guy out here. I know he is. I saw him come out here. Uh, wait, there he is. He's hiding behind a boat. I, I thought I saw him. Uh, I guess not. Let's see. There was... I know there's going to be another person around here. I know there is. There it is, right there. And one right there. Use vantage points if you need to. Because they will do whatever they can to try to keep you from getting to Dimitri. You're going to have to actually go back the way you came, and that's where the real problems come in. Because every person you just killed on your way out here will come back and respawn. 
they will ambush you, and it's gonna be a real disaster. Oh yeah, I had to make sure that my uh, recording was still functional, because it was dropping frame rates at one point. It's oh god, they shot me in the back. Somebody shot me in the back. I just lost a little bit of health. Oh, there's the bastard right there. Stay down. Oh, there goes a portion of my body armor. Bastards. I am charging this on Dimitri's HMO. What? I don't even think he needs one, but... I'm still charging it on his HMO for his next of kin. Alright, there's another person out here. I think that's the guy who jumped off of the, uh, top of the ship. Here we go. He had a lot of jumpers in this one. He's around here somewhere. Oh wait, he fell to his death! Oh, crap, he fell to his death! Ah, rocket launcher. Now then, stay dead. Yep, he sure did. I just shot him in the hand and he fell to his death. Anyone else? Nope. Gotta make sure there's no more respawners. Because they're going to respawn in a few minutes. As soon as I turn the hole right here. There's one! Asshole. And there's another one. Asshole. Hold on. There's another one. I see a dead and there's one over there. He really took a number on my body armor. And there should be one on the way out of the ship. Well, at least the kitchen of the ship. You're going to die, Let's see. He should come out this here. Kind of there we go. Oh, come on. I thought I hit him. Oh, well, looks like I don't need the med kit yet. I mean, I haven't taken enough life damage. I will when I get to the hole, though. Oh, by the way, that sealed door? That's the alternate exit for where we're about to go. Now then, all we need to do now is climb on this box and prepare for battle, because this is where things get a little bit harder. As soon as you get in, there will be goons shooting at you. And make sure you're able to reach this. If not, there is always other crates right next to the cargo hold doorway. So, just be careful, jump down, and don't take any fall damage. The less fall damage you take, the better it is for you. Because Dimitri is right over there. And sure enough, there's the goons there. And I'm running a little bit out of, uh, carbine rifle ammo there. Here's a present. And he's enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure there's another one around here somewhere. I'm more than sure. Oh, there he is! He was coming around the corner, too! Asshole! Again, you have to be careful on all sides. They will, and I repeat, they will try to spin you down and swarm you. This is the part where the computer starts being more intelligent and more savvy towards your methods. Which, surprise, surprise, it actually worked so far that I've managed to get down here with less damage than what I originally would have taken. And I flipped that crate over. Yeah, we're almost there, and I'm going to save that rocket launcher specifically for our good friend Dimitri. Because he is right up the way. I know there's someone here, too. Oh, there he is! Hey, Dimitri, I don't think I'll be doing this deal with you. We have other business to finish. Nicole, oh, sorry if I'm talking to the cutscenes. But it's time, time to finish this. America does not change everyone. It's who time you? to end you this. You arrived in this country, a spineless rat who would sell out his friends. 
Dimitri, it's time for you to die, my brother. Oh, you have no right to call anyone a cocksucker, considering you've been on Bulgarin's dick the entirety of the game. Oh, shit! This guy had a shotgun! Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, when all else fails, just use explosives to try to finish off Dimitri. But more importantly, use explosives to get rid of his henchmen, because he happens to be standing right next to barrels. And there goes his henchmen. Now, if you want to actually take a good shot at Dimitri, you can, but it's best to actually hit him with a rocket launcher, because he is, however, hiding behind a crate. consequences. You screwed me over. Now you're paying for it. Shame that'll be the second last thing that goes into your head. Goodbye. You're the one who's going to learn a lesson. People aren't going to be happy if you kill me. Blatz, you opponent! I've never been popular. I don't mean to start now. This is the first and only mission where you could do a assault rifle execution. But no, I have a promise to shoot him in the nuts with a shotgun, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do! Promise kept! Now then... Celebratory teabagging?! Yeah! Well, that's as good as teabagging as I can get. Hold on, wait, there's one last thing I wanna do. Have a little friend, buddy. Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's see how far he flew. Huh, where'd he go? Where the hell did he go? Oh, excuse me. Nowhere. Where the hell am I going? Oh, wait, there he is. He's right over there. Let's see. Hold on. Let me just take this uh, picture of Dimitri lying there pathetically beaten. Well, he's not beaten yet, but he has no dick. Yeah, I'll give this to every mob boss in Alderney. They will be happy or pissed, depending on that person who likes him. Ah, one last teabagging. Hold on, wait. I think there's one last thing we need to do. Because of tradition, the purge! <laughs> wait, I'm not even hitting him. Hold on, hold on. Back up, fool. Back up. You're not hitting him. You're not hitting him. Now you're hitting him. Yes! The purge! The purge must happen! Because Dimitri is a dick! Oh, wait. I did promise a bullet in his brain, didn't I? Hold on, let's give him a bullet in his brain. Wait, nope. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold on, let's get one more bullet for good measure. Ten. There we go! Ten bullets! And I'm going the wrong way because the hatch that was open in the back is where I'm supposed to go. This way get people confused because people may think that unlike uh, the Nang thing, you can just climb out the back of the uh, cargo hold after you finish with everything down here. No, no, you can't. Actually, you're supposed to go out through the entrance doors, and I'm going to show you that you won't be able to do it, because once you come here, the cargo door is closed, and not to mention, you won't be able to jump too high, because you'll be stuck there. And, yeah. Wait, it's not really closed, it's just the fact that you won't be able to make that jump. No matter how hard you try, you won't be able to make that jump. I'm just showing that off to anyone who gets confused. Where you need to go is at the end of this hallway. But yes, Dimitri is dead. He's gone. Good riddance. That dickless loser deserved all of that. Operation No Russian is successful. Oh, by the way, I wasn't being racist. Again, Modern Warfare 2. Look it up. And again, at least I didn't get shot in the head by Makarov. So, 
It's time to bid this ship and every dead body on it farewell because we just got finished killing Dimitri and finishing a dish served cold. And since I took the deal, well, Roman may be disappointed, but at the same time, at least Roman's been avenged as well as many of people. He was on the platypus. The boat I arrived in Liberty City. However, so there is a certain someone who's not too happy with Nico's actions, as Dimitri no, warned him. The, the person in question, however, yes. well, you're going to have to see Roman. at the Don't end worry. of... Well, actually, you're going to have to see in the next part, really. I'm not saying at the end of the part, but rather the next part, because the next part... We might as well get ready, because bells will be ringing as soon as I finish calling Kate. Well, as well, actually, if Kate calls me, it'll be the start of the next mission, so I will cut it off there. But one thing is perfectly clear, Dimitri is dead. And also, Phil calls you and tells you that he didn't trust Dimitri and he, glad, and he was glad that Pegorino was not able to make that deal. Oh, and speaking of which, Pegorino is the person that is not too happy with what Nico did. And if the beta would have continued on to the real game, Phil would have actually gave you more respect for killing Dimitri than taking the deal with him. And even after the deal, Phil will cut all ties with the Pegorino gang. So with that said, Dimitri's dead, we're done. I will see you guys in part 49 for the wedding. Hope it ends very well because that wedding is held at the same church as Francis' funeral. Gee, here we all know how that ended. See you guys next time.